Mercy in the Storm. Item number, SCP-1652. Object Class, Euclid. See Incident Report 1652-1. Special Containment Procedures. Due to the immobility of SCP-1652, a perimeter of 30 meters is to be secured around SCP-1652, under the guise of training grounds for military purposes. The perimeter of SCP-1652 is to be surrounded by a 3 meter barbed wire fence. Access to SCP-1652 is to be authorized by level 4 personnel. Instances of SCP-1652-1 are to be treated accordingly, then released. Description: SCP-1652 is a field near Dresden, Tennessee. Coordinates 36.28128 minus 88.684582. SCP-1652 itself shows no immediate anomalous properties. During a period of four hours each day, gunshots and explosions will be heard within a 15 meter radius of SCP-1652. The sounds have no discernible source and cannot be picked up by electronic devices. SCP-1652 is filled with lolium perine ryegrass that shows no anomalous properties. Cutting the grass at a length of 0.7 meters or lower will cease anomalous activity in that area. Grass removed and regrown outside of SCP-1652 shows no anomalous properties. SCP-1652-1 refers to a variety of wild dogs that live inside SCP-1652. Any attempt to find instances of SCP-1652-1 has resulted in failure unless anomalous properties have already taken effect. Instances of SCP-1652-1 will appear as a number of dog breeds, and only larger breeds of dogs have been observed. After the four-hour cycle of gunshots and explosions in SCP-1652, instances of SCP-1652-1 will exit SCP-1652. Up to 12 instances of SCP-1652-1 have been observed during this time. Instances of SCP-1652-1 who leave SCP-1652 will show symptoms and wounds correlating to weapons used during World War I. Injuries on instances of SCP-1652-1 include bullet holes, including ammunition, lead poisoning, respiratory inflammation caused by mustard gas exposure, a number of irritated blisters, stab wounds correlating with bayonets. Bullets found inside instances of SCP-1652-1 are extremely corroded and show no signs of being shot at any recent time. Bullets recovered are consistent with ammunition commonly used during World War I. Instances of SCP-1652-1 show no biological anomalies and will wander around SCP-1652 until exsanguination occurs or treatment has been applied. Instances of SCP-1652-1 who are treated for wounds will attempt to escape into SCP-1652. Autopsy of deceased instances of SCP-1652-1 show no differentiation from normal domesticated dogs. Instances of SCP-1652-1 appear to average around 6 years of age. After a period of two days outside of SCP-1652, an instance of SCP-1652-1 will begin to decompose, typically expiring after 15 to 21 hours. State of decay over three days is equivalent to blank years of elapsed time. Decaying instances of SCP-1652-1 show extreme discomfort until provided with the chance to return to SCP-1652. Incident Report 1652-1 At blank, 19, blank, a man wearing a British Pattern Service dress uniform fled SCP-1652. This instance is to be referred to as SCP-1652-2. SCP-1652-2 carried a short magazine Lee Enfield Mark III along with a Webley revolver. SCP-1652-2 bore several injuries, including broken bones, gunshot wounds, and blisters. SCP-1652-2 was reluctant to give information, but revealed that he was deployed to blank, France. SCP-1652-2 began to deteriorate in health as he began to decompose at a rate blank 6% faster than instances of SCP-1652-1. SCP-1652-2 expired within 5 hours of recovery.